Hello, how are you? Welcome to Grandma Ray Don't Play. It's a pleasure serving you. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? I'm wel waiting here to welcome you. Join the family over here. Grandma is working hard for you and she wants you to not miss one thing. And give it a thumbs up if you like the video. I know you're going to like the video, so go ahead and give the thumbs up. Share, share the videos. That's very, very important. Because what you like, some one of your friends or your family member may like. And if they like it, they may share others. And that's how we can grow. Okay? Okay, so today I'd like to show you how to make honey, garlic, T-bone steak in the air fryer. Mmm. Just wrap your head around that a minute. You know, you have the beef which is the T-bone steak, which is already delicious. And then you're going to have that flavor of garlic on it, topping it up off with some honey. Oh, my goodness. Let me show you how we're going to get that done. Okay? All right. Thanks for hanging around. I'll have the word of the day for you today also. Thanks. Okay. Let me make sure that you can see and put that down a little bit more there we go all right so this is the t-bone steak okay i believe it was ten dollars okay now we're going to put some granulated onion seasoning lemon pepper Seasoning by Flavor Mate. So you can see right away we're going for the flavors, right? Ginger. Oops. Nope, oh, that's no good. Gotta okay, put that in the trash. It fell. Okay. Now we're going to flip the, to the other side and repeat. Let me wash my hands. Okay, we're going to put the granulated onion on this side and also the lemon pepper. Okay, now I have some garlic that I ground down. If you don't have some uh, garlic that you ground down, you can cut up a couple of cloves of garlic very fine and put on here, or you can use garlic powder or granulated garlic, okay? All right. Oh, I guess I got the drops these today. I'm just rubbing the garlic all over. You see what I'm doing? So you can see we're going for the flavor for real. Okay, and now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put the garlic on the other side. Let me just show you this. See? Okay, so now I'm going to put the garlic on the other side. So that was about a teaspoon of garlic total that we used. Okay, now we're going to put it right into the air fryer. Wash my hands. Okay, I'm going to turn the air fryer on. We're going to cook it on 370, a high temperature. Because steak is something that you don't want to cook slow. You really want to cook it fast because um, it doesn't require long cooking. Okay. All right. We're going to start with 10 minutes and then I'll check it out. Okay. 
Okay, also with this meal, we're going to have some uh, vegetables, which would be the glazed carrots and a rice I already have cooked, and that's going to be incorporated in the meal. So right now, I'm going to cook the show you how to cook the glazed carrots. Okay, one second. Okay, so I have a bag of baby whole carrots. Okay, and in the frying pan here, I have a half a stick of butter. Okay, I'm gonna turn the frying pan on. I'm gonna melt the butter, and then the seasonings that we're gonna add is chives granulated garlic and black pepper maybe I should add uh, a sweet red pepper why not I need something for color, so I'm going to add this sweet red pepper. I'm just going to cut it up. It doesn't matter how. I'm just looking for some color. Cut it into strips, and then I'm just going to cut the strips in half one time. Okay, our butter is melted, so we're going to put the sweet red peppers in and the carrots. This is a bag of frozen baby whole carrots. So you can see how the sweet pepper, sweet red pepper is giving some color, right? But it's still not the color I'm looking for. I want it to really pop out. So when you cook, you want to think about that because people eat with their eyes. So if you can make it appealing, they're going to eat it more, okay? So as you can see, I have a half of a whole onion that I already used, a half, okay? So I'm only going to use a quarter of this half. Okay, that's all I need is just that quarter. Okay, 
today. We're going to put the onions in. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That brought everything right out, didn't it? A big piece here I'm going to just take out. Okay, now we're going to put some seasoning on that. Wiping down the counter. Okay, we're going to add, we have the off light on our T-bone steak that have been cooking for 10 minutes. It's going to cut off in a minute. You'll hear the beat. I'm adding black pepper. Granulated garlic. Oh, that's not open. Let me get one that's open. There we go. I'm going to put some chives in. So you can see we have the onions, that's a white color. The carrots, that's an orange color. The red peppers, that's a red color. And then we're going to put some chives in, that's a green color. You see, we're really bringing the color to the surface. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the top on this and let that just cook a few minutes. I'm going to put it on low on number four on my stove. I have a gas stove. Okay, so now let's check on the T-bone steak. Oh, wow. It's looking good. Okay, I'm going to bring this right out to show you. Now this is how it's looking so far. But we're going to turn it over. And we're going to put it back in. Because it's not ready. I'm going to set the timer. 370 again. Uh, let's go for eight minutes. That'll give us a total of 18 minutes. Okay, back to our carrots. Who would have thought of adding other vegetables like the onions and peppers? would bring such a beautiful color and I'm sure flavor. Oh wow, look at that guys. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to let that cook for about another five minutes while I bring you the word of the day. One second. The word of the day. The word of the day is your goals. Your goals. You know, maybe your goal is to be a star. 
Maybe your goal is to play sports. Maybe your goal is to just see your grandkids every week. Maybe your goal is to work hard to achieve financial freedom. Well, your goal is great if you have a goal. I think everyone should have a goal. The concern is, are you actually moving towards your goal? Are you not moving towards your goal because you told someone about your goals and they couldn't see your vision so they discouraged you by negative words? Are you not achieving your goal because you at this point may be lazy and don't want to push yourself to the ultimate limit? Maybe your goal is um, you're not satisfied with other things in your life so you use that as an excuse not to move forward with your goal. Well guess what? Your goal is not going to just reach out, knock on your door and say here I am. No, nope. the goal is waiting on you to move. Please move forward, achieve your goal and be happy about the end result because there is a brighter light if you just go ahead and move on your goal. The word of the day, move forward on your goal. Okay, let's get back to our food we're cooking. Thank you. Okay, let's check on our vegetables. Oh, oh guys, the smell. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So, so good. Okay, so guess what goes really good with carrots? Cinnamon. I put a little cinnamon on there. Cinnamon. Just a little. Just want to bring out a flavor. If you put too much, it'll get too dark. So you want just a little. Okay, and some lemon juice. Guys, I don't have any lemon juice. I thought for sure I did. But if you have lemon juice, add some to yours. But it's not the end of the world, right? Okay. So now we're going to add our brown sugar. This is the glaze. So you're going to take a handful. See that? Handful. And just sprinkle that over there. And another half of a handful. So one and a half handfuls brown sugar. I have brown sugar. Okay. This is going to make our glaze. Oh, look at that. It's all shiny already. Alright, I'm going to put the top on. Turn the fry up. I'm going to really let that glaze set in. And I'll be right back in two minutes. Okay, we have a minute left on the air fryer. Let's go ahead and check it out. I want to check the temperature. So I have a thermometer. We're looking for 155 for the beef if you want it well done. Well, let's see what where we're at. That's what we're looking like. have my thermometer. I'm going to go right in straight through the middle. Half of the probe have to be in the beef.
Okay, we're at 156. So we are good for beef to be done. Now we're going to add the honey. Honey, you turn the carrots down a little. Just going to sprinkle the honey right over there. Oh boy, look at that. It's hot, so the honey will run. I'm even putting the honey on the bone. I might want to lick that. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put the honey on this side. Oh my, my, my. Honey, garlic, T-bone. Stop. Okay, so we're going to put it back in. For five minutes. Because we want that honey to glaze onto the T-bone. Okay, let's take this up five minutes. Okay. Okay, we're going to check on our carrots. Oh boy. Let me just taste, see if I'm missing anything. I'm missing some salt. Okay, I have some salt substitute. You might want to use regular salt if you don't use salt substitute. Okay, we're ready. The, the um, glazed carrots is ready with onions and um, peppers. So I'll be right back. I'm going to plate up for you. Um, the T-bone should stop in three minutes. Okay, I'll be back in three minutes. Here's the end results. We have our garlic, honey, T-bone steak, glazed carrots, and brown rice. Look at that, would you? Oh, my, my, my. Let's give it a taste. Okay, let me let you see the color of the inside of the steak. You see that? You got a little pink, right? But not bloody running over. Okay, let's take a taste. Mmm. Wow. A T-bone steak is tender all by itself. But then when you add the flavor of that garlic and that honey, oh, 
it just brings it out. So you, you taste it and you chew in the beef and then that honey just coats your mouth so good. Okay, I'm going to try the carrots and the rice. The glaze on the carrots is superb. So you have the uh, glaze on the carrots, which is the brown sugar. And then you have the honey on the T-bone. Oh, together, magnificent. And the rice just goes with the flow. Okay? All right. Thanks for hanging around. You know you're going to give this a thumbs up because you love T-bone steak in the air fryer. Until next time, be blessed. Bye-bye.